So the, uh, oh, what's it called? Storm. The Storm's Fury. I did this uh, just Fury. Did it just before, uh, just before the show. Basically, four portals spawn. You need to capture the portals. Like and, PvP objectives? Uh, yeah, and defend the portals, kill the primeless mobs. You'll get some uh, like Storm's Essence or whatever it's called. And uh, elemental... Elemental stuff, you know, that you mm. use for the storms. Uh, you get those off the mobs. Then at the end, boss spawns. You kill the boss. There's also uh, rares and stuff that can spawn during the event as well that I think drop 385 or 389 gear. One of the two anyway. And that essentially is it. It's just uh, kind of like a storm with a bit of a different twist. Turns out, though, loads of people do storms. As we found out when we in our sort of... Maybe the criticisms, the things you could say Blizzard could yeah. do better in this expansion. We kind of thought, hmm, these storms bit curiously timed. Uh, no. Well, I mean, a lot of us would say yes, but at any rate, it does people seem plenty like of people. Them, yeah. yeah, plenty of people like them. Plenty of people are doing them. So this is just more stuff for those people. I think what is mostly noteworthy, though, is that normally you're able to get a total of eight storm sigils per week per character by doing each of the four elements for the normal primal storms. When you do this, uh, you get a stormed primalist cache. Uh, that contains two storm sigils. And then you can purchase the stormed primalist cache, uh, the blue version, not the purple version. And uh, I believe that contains a storm sigil. But essentially what it means is more uh, more storm sigils per week, which is going to be important if you want to, uh, you know, gear yourself up in that item level 389 storm gear, which is notable because that storm gear can be put into the revival catalyst to turn it into tier gear, not mm. only giving you the tier set bonus, but also giving you the visual appearance. Yep. So you can earn tier without going into group content. Yep. And in addition to that, you'll get the chronologically unstable loop, bronze band of destinies, the heat of primal winter, the sands of temporal perfection. Um, yeah, you'll get those. Uh, now, uh, doing my first one, I got 25 essences yeah, of the storm. Yeah. Yep. So almost enough to purchase one of those. And of course, if you are somebody who already had a bunch of elemental overflow because that's the storm currency, then, well, that won't be a problem for we you. You also get a couple hundred for doing the boss in there. Yeah. Like yep. 300 or so. So that's basically that. There is another change to go along with this. Um, it doesn't actually change anything really. Just uh, the way that it used to work is you would take the eye level 359 blue storm gear and you would turn in that plus a quantity of tokens into a vendor to get the epic version. Now, instead of that happening, it just happens at an upgrade vendor. Yeah, the item upgrade. The, the item upgrade that's vendor it. now takes the additional currency of the thing to upgrade it. Same way with the, yeah, the one with stuff. And same, you know, it's just using the item instead of Valor, basically. Instead of having this, like, weird, give me the item, which will unequip your item and throw the other item in, they just use the upgrade system. Which I think is a little bit more um, more feasible, though I do think they need an item upgrade vendor that isn't hidden in the back of the PvP place. Because I think that confuses a lot of people. 